Thank you to Simply Safe for sponsoring this video. This is gross. Honestly, the house doesn't intimidate me, but this, <laughs> I'm a little scared. Hey, Flipsters, I'm Lauren. And I'm Lincoln, and we are happily married. But not to each other. We're old friends from college, and we're flipping houses in the Austin, Texas area. And we're taking you along for the ride. Hey Flipsters, what is up? We've got another full before and after transformation story for you. Guys, sometimes it pays to know your neighbors. We are buying this flip from our next door neighbor and you are not gonna believe how this thing turns out. Stick around. So this house is a four bedroom, two and a half bath. It has 1,800 square feet. It was built in 1975. We picked it up for $450,000. Got a little bit of a secret garden vibe going on here. Yeah, I think we need a little bit of a, a mowing of the yard, but check out these trees. This is what you love to see, yeah? Beautiful, gorgeous, mature trees. You've got this really interesting little patio right here. I actually think the house is nice. It's got a lot of curb appeal. It just does seem a little bit closed off with that courtyard right up front. I don't know how I'm feeling about all this foliage. Well, what first you, you gotta get through the foliage just to get in the door. Get it. I don't know, it kind of disguises and hides your front entry. Definitely private. <laughs> and it's kind of nice to get some little shade here. Now be careful out here because this is a wasp's paradise. I've already spotted several nests. All right, well, let's get inside then. All right. Ah. It smells like a grandma. It smells like a grandma. That's always the first thing that hits you in these houses <laughs> is the aroma, the right? The smell, the smell. Yes, people. Oh. Check out this tile pattern in I your I mean, room. it's groovy. This is 1975, I'm fairly certain. Doing it proud. This is a fun space, what do you think? This is cool, yeah. Right off of your dining space, you got boom! This living space is enormous. We went from the lightness to the darkness in here. <laughs> yeah, there are two lights <laughs> pointed at the fireplace. They don't even turn on. I don't know if it's the bulbs or the power, but we got no light in this whole space. There's not even a light on the fan. And you've got these like thick, heavy, <laughs> solid drapes blocking any natural light. I mean, look at these windows. This is awesome space. Yeah. Totally hidden. Yeah. This is a sunken, living room how do we feel about that it's always a tripping hazard to me is the first thing that i think of this was great when grandma bought it new in 1975 but i'm worried about her breaking a hip on this thing it's just not safe or practical man this is a hard call on if we should even level this thing out at all it just makes the whole living space seem like a death trap and even more importantly it's totally dated and out of style let's see the most expensive room in this house the kitchen it's a compact little thing. They love them some wallpaper border up here. It just takes you back to the Garden of Eden, you know? <laughs> Literally, my grandmother had something very, very similar in her kitchen. I don't think the kitchen's that bad, honestly. I actually think they may have updated it at one point. What do you think? Probably 1990, <laughs> judging on the, the cabinets and countertop. Whenever we're looking for properties to flip, I love to see a kitchen with good proximity to the dining and the living, because that means if you got to open up some walls, you're right there. So the kitchen itself, it's not terribly small, but for the size of like the living room, the dining space, the bedrooms, it just feels like an afterthought. This is like a little breakfast nook right off the kitchen. You'll notice again, a step down, and that's because this was a portion of the garage that was converted. And normally we wouldn't show you guys the garage, but you gotta see this. You've still got garage space, but I don't know if you can tell on camera, you don't even have enough space to park a full car here. Obviously, they took part of the garage to convert to that weird breakfast room. Yeah, and it's such a weird and, in my opinion, not a value-adding conversion because you get the worst of both worlds. You don't get to count this as interior living space, but it can't function as a garage. It's really just more like what they're using it for, which is storage and bull crap. All right, so let's go check out those back bedrooms. Coming out of the kitchen here, across the hall of your foyer, you've got these extra bedrooms with the Jack and Jill bath, of course. Bedroom number one, uh, it's that 
smoker's yellow that we love so much. <laughs> it's a good size. It's got the ever popular water stain on the ceiling. Yeah, hoping that that's maybe just air conditioning condensation, not a roof leak, yeah? Yeah, here's the hoping. Yeah, a lot of times the condensation from the HVAC will overflow, or sometimes it is a roof leak or whatever. If it's not active and it's been fixed, typically not a big deal. You said a ladybird will land on your beard while you were talking and fly off. A ladybug? Yeah. Really? Did you get that on film? <laughs> yeah. That's really a cool. ladybug? Yeah. Oh, that's supposed to be good luck. And you gotta love the old anatomical light. <laughs> <laughs> you guys know what that looks like. On the plus side, decent sized space, nice windows to the front of the house. Hopefully we can address that leak, otherwise it's all cosmetic in here. Bedroom number two, this was where the young scholar lived. Yes, this is where you'd pin letters back home <laughs> to let them know how boarding school was going. <laughs> I applaud the effort of going the extra mile, putting a little flourish on it, a little wallpaper. Accent. Yeah, the carpet was super bright. Yeah. Well, that's what happens when you lock your children in their bedroom, okay? They're gonna try and claw their way out here, and eventually they're gonna have an accident on the carpet. And all they have to do is just write, write, write all day long. <laughs> all right, let's see how far away they were from the bathroom when they had the accident, <laughs> yeah? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> you couldn't hold it? 10 feet? Come on. Once again, the wallpaper treatment. I'm loving it, you this know? This is classy. Did you ever eat at Grandy's growing up? Do you yes. remember? Yes! Yeah. I loved Grandy's. There Did was you? one, it was like 30 minutes from our house, but we would drive up there. It's like if your grandmother had her own fast food chain somehow and <laughs> yeah. decorated it like her house. Totally. All By right. the way, for all you grandmothers out there, make sure you subscribe and follow us on Instagram, at Austin Flipsters. We love you, big time. All right, so we're in the first bathroom. But oh, wait. <laughs> There's, There's more! more. And that's the concept of the Jack and Jill. It's pretty simple, you just open that door. Well, then, then you have this door. Well, I mean, you get this door. Okay, we're almost there. Okay, all right, one more door. And then you just, last one. Oh, hey there. <laughs> simple. And I just wanna to say to you guys out there, remember, when God closes one door, he opens four more. So we made it to the other side of the house. There's actually two more bedrooms over here, the primary and this additional spare bedroom. And it's a smaller space, but what I like about it, it is located very close to your primary bedroom. So this could be a nursery, this could be an office. It's got a lot of versatility. And the best carpet in the whole place. All right, let's go see the primary bedroom. Double door entry, fancy. <laughs> this is a pretty big space, yeah? Yeah, this is nice and decent. You've got a nice sliding door out to your patio. Now, let me ask you a question. Which wall would you put your bed on because the previous owners clearly made their decision. <laughs> they were committed to their decision. So now this is like, you know, not quite a modern layout where you've got just this open access to your bathroom. Yeah, I think if you threw a set of doors on here, this could kind of be all one big room. So they kind of went with a smoker's yellow for the whole bathroom. The paint, the trim, even the granite is a little bit golden-y. The golden age of smoking. The smoker's yellow was definitely the paint color of the year 1975. All right, and we got one more big surprise in the backyard. Let's go see it. So believe it or not, we have never flipped a house with a swimming pool in the backyard. I've always wanted one. They're nice, aren't they? They're very nice. This one is less a swimming pool and more like- Alligator pond? Alligator pond. Snake city in there, man. This is like Kermit the Frog's condo back here. <laughs> Look yeah. at the shade of green. This is gonna take some doing. To be honest, this is our first flip of the pool because I usually avoid them. They just seem like such money pits. I mean, literally. It's a beautiful backyard. You got this wonderful setting, shading trees, a nice little playhouse back here. I don't know what that's about, but this thing, I don't even know how deep it is. Like, you literally can't see more than an inch deep in it. Yeah, I'm scared. How do you reno a pool? Yeah, to be honest, I think we're a little out of our depths here. We're gonna have to do a little bit of research. We're gonna need to find some experts who know what they're doing with cleaning this thing up. Let's get to it. All right, so let's talk about the layout changes that we're gonna make to the house. First things first, we're gonna reduce the size of that front breakfast area and cut that room in half. We wanna be able to fit at least a full-size car on both sides of the garage. Next, we're gonna blow out all the walls that separate the kitchen area from the living room and the dining room. And finally, we're going to extend the kitchen out over the existing patio to capture some additional square footage and turn this into a massive luxury kitchen. 
I want to take a minute to tell you about the sponsor of this video, Simply Safe. Simply Safe is an easier way to secure your home and family. And right now, Simply Safe is offering its best deals of the year with 50% off or more on your security system. Simply Safe systems are customized to your home with a comprehensive lineup of sensors and cameras all connected to 24/7 monitoring service that sends help fast in an emergency. Simply Safe is an easier way to secure your home and family. Instead of dealing with a lengthy ordering and setup process, Simply Safe enables you to design a system best fit for your space and ships it directly to your doorstep. They've got sensors to cover every window, room, and door, plus lots of great extras like water sensors, smoke detectors, HD cameras for indoors and outside, and doorbell cameras. From there, your home is professionally monitored 24-7. So my favorite sensor is actually the carbon monoxide detector. So a lot of times with these projects, we've got things going on, digging in, wanna make sure that we haven't hit a gas line or anything that could cause issues, and you know carbon monoxide is the silent killer. It's awesome to have this detector so we know that our projects are safe, not only for us, but for our crew as well. They've also launched a new wireless outdoor security camera that extends Simply Safe's comprehensive protection to the perimeter of your property with an ultra-wide 140-degree field of view so that you can keep watch over your entire outdoor space. It has a 1080p HD resolution, an eight times zoom, and a built-in spotlight with color night vision so you can closely capture what's happening around the clock. Simply Safe has been awarded and recommended by experts including US News and World Report, PC Mag, and Popular Science, and is trusted by more than three million Americans to keep them safe while home. It's easy to rack up costs with other monitoring services, but Simply Safe's professional monitoring service begins at only 50 cents a day. Save 50% or more on your Simply Safe security system during their biggest sale of the year. Visit simplysafe.com/flipsters to learn more. Okay, so demo has started here. First things first, we tore down those hideous curtains as you can see over here. We've got a nice view to that luxurious pool. Yeah, man, these windows look so much bigger than you realize with the curtains off, yeah? And really, they're pretty modern looking. I'm pretty pleased with them. Listen, when there's room in the budget, I love upgrading the windows to be more energy efficient, but you know, this one's kind of a toss up. They're in great condition. They look great because they're that black sleek style. They're nice, big, they open in a lot of light. So, you know, we made the call to keep them on this project. Let's go check out the kitchen. We are demoing there currently. We're definitely starting from scratch on this one. We're gonna do all new cabinetry. We just went ahead and ripped everything out. It's gonna be brand new. It's gonna be fresh. We're gonna open it up to the living space. Yeah, not to mention we're gonna have more square footage extending out once we bust this wall out. It's gonna be completely different in here. So I was thinking for the bathrooms in here, since it's kind of like a Jack and Jill, it'd be fun to do have like a kind of a yin and yang bathroom, like have them be coordinated but not exactly the same. Oh, what do you think? Oh yeah, I kind of like that. Yeah, that'd be fun. Hey Flipster, today we're gonna to work on the design plan for the neighbor's house. We've got some fun things in store for this one. So for this project, we're doing something super fun in the kitchen. So as you know, we are adding and expanding to that kitchen. So it's kind of this whole new space. We're gonna create a whole new layout. And for the backsplash, rather than do a traditional backsplash, we're actually gonna run a window behind. Check out this inspiration picture. I think it's gonna look totally dope. I love this picture as well. Again, it's got the big window, not quite a backsplash, but a huge window, which we will have overlooking that new gorgeous pool. I love this moody tile and I think it's super great. So I reached out to our friends over at Lily Tile to see if they had any Anything that matched this and they did they had an awesome cement tile in this dove kind of a green pattern we are doing some neutral cabinets in this one we're probably gonna go darker on the bottom so as you know we've got that fun Jack and Jill bath in this house I want to do something kind of cool I've seen a lot of this on Pinterest where they'll do these hexagon tiles and they'll kind of mix and match colors so as you see here this is like black to white I saw a really cool one that had kind of a rainbow ombre so see how it kind of transitions from like navy to light blue to green to gray I think that might be a bit much but I think we're gonna take maybe one or two colors and see if we can't get this look in that connecting shower space. Maybe do one side one color, one side the other color, kind of connect them. I think it could be a cool effect. Finally, you know me, I love wallpaper. I've been itching to use some more. Reach out to our friends at Wall Blush and they have generously donated the wallpaper for this project. Kind of feeling a floral vibe on this one. So in that dining space, I was thinking this is a really pretty, it's kind of a muted pattern, kind of a, um, I don't know my fine artist, but a Monet, kind of a watercolor-esque vibe. I think it's really fun. We could kind of play off the colors in this on that fireplace. I think that could be a neat addition. So this is the one that I've selected for the dining room. I think it's gonna look awesome. Awesome. In the primary bathroom, actually going with this bold navy floral. It's loud, but I think it's gonna be cool. And I was inspired by this picture on Pinterest. I think there's a lot of fun things with this project. I'm ready to get started. First things first, we need to go pick out those countertops. Okay, so we're out here at Encore Stone Studio up in North Austin, trying to figure out these countertops. Now, I think this is my pick. 
the safe, the steady, the you know it's gonna look good pick. So this is a quartz product, so it's a man-made stone, so it's gonna be tough, it's gonna be durable. We already have a lot going on. Yeah. I think it would be safe to just do this calm. But you know, <laughs> it's not totally boring. It's got some veining, it's got some interest. Mm -hmm. Let me present to you this bad boy. It's okay. bold. This is much bolder choice, but check it out. It's got some of our tones, these like, which I usually hate brown tones You're in, right. the, in the actual stone, but I feel like it works here. here. I think it's pretty great for the cabinets, because look at this veining, you've got the dark gray, but I'm a little concerned on the tile. Does it, I feel does like it, it jive? The Lily tile has some of these like gray and green tones to it, which I feel like the stone kind of has a bit of, but I don't know, what do you think? I'm a maybe. <laughs> okay. I think we need a second opinion, a backup opinion. Why don't we throw it to the Flipsters, see what they think. They always come through. Boom, okay, Instagram vote it is. That's why you gotta be following us at Austin Flipsters. We're lost without your guidance. Go follow us. Okay, so big changes. Yeah, it looks a little different around here. Yeah, we are getting ready this afternoon to pour some concrete. We got our rebar down. This is a lot of effort just to get this thing back up. And it doesn't seem like a big deal because, you know, we're only talking about a couple inches. Sunken living rooms are cool, but they are a little dated. My mind goes straight to somebody just tripping off of the edge of this thing and breaking their neck because it's such an unnecessary level change right in the middle of your house. We've got a lot of overhead space here. Now, we do have a bit of a dilemma. Because we had ducting from our HVAC running through here and we still gotta get it to this part of the house, we're gonna have a bit of a funky roof line. Two potential solutions. One is we run drywall from the base of this beam at the angle to meet here. Mm -hmm. So they're just different angled slopes. Right. Option two is we run drywall from the base of the beam straight across to the pitch of the roof and we mirror it on that side just for oh. symmetry. Then you've kind of got this V shape and a flattening out so you don't really ever get that full peak on either side. You know what, maybe we throw it to the Flipsters on Instagram. So if you wanna help us make design decisions on these projects, go follow us on Instagram at Austin Flipsters. We got big plans for this kitchen layout. Come check this out. We got rid of the previous garage conversion so right here, we're gonna have your kind of pantry as well as your laundry space. By moving this wall a bit forward, we're at least gonna be able to park a full-size car in here and have full use of both sides of the garage. Come check out what we're gonna do on the kitchen expansion. As you can see, we've laid some rebar to pour concrete so that we can match the foundation inside. Here's how this kitchen's gonna be laid out. On this wall, we're gonna actually have a window for our backsplash. Hey, it's gonna be so cool. <laughs> Pretty pumped about this one. So you know I'm all about leaving as much of the floor plan as we can, but with this one, it was really closed off on the most important part of the house, which is that kitchen, dining, living combo. So, I mean, we just went hog wild with this bad boy. We just blew it up. We gotta talk about what we're gonna do with this pool here. This thing is murky, I'll say. It looks like some creature from the Black Lagoon here. To get this bad boy back in its uh, peak condition, we're gonna have to drain the water out. There's like a layer of sludge underneath that's gonna mm. have to be scraped off. Yeah. TBD, we're gonna have to replaster. Yeah, this is gonna take a little bit more than just a few chemicals, a little bit of chlorine. And which, by the way, the listing photos when we bought this, uh -huh. those were using some Photoshop on this, okay? This water was pristine blue. It's not green. Yeah, no, it was Photoshopped. Oh my gosh. Unethical. This is gonna take a full on pool renovation time lapse. There's a lot of debris that we still need to get out of here. Oh, oh my gosh. This and is where- And it smells terrible. Yeah, you guys need smell of vision This is Ugh. so foul. Like, I'm shocked how many leaves. There's a whole tree branch in here. This thing has not been clean for years. All right. Okay, we're gonna have to do a little bit more cleanup on this thing. We've got all the pool equipment in now. Now it's just down to replastering this. This was a huge investment. We spent like over $10,000 on the pool alone. All right, so the pool's looking good, but I can't show it to you just yet. We gotta get on back inside and we gotta level those floors. It's concrete time, baby.
feeling lifted. Look at this. <laughs> this is awesome. I'm so glad we bit the bullet and went ahead and leveled everything out. Here's what's a crazy effect of this. We actually raise the floors and somehow it makes these windows feel bigger because they're lower to the ground, it makes them feel like floor to ceiling. Yeah. I don't know, it's crazy to me. Well, and I feel like you just visually gain so much space. I mean, it's the same amount of space, but it feels like such a bigger place. Not to even mention the ceiling. We had the Flipsters vote on this on Instagram about what we should do with the ceiling treatment. We ended up going with their recommendation. So we wanted the ceiling angles to mirror each other. And in order to accomplish that, we had to do a little bit of a drop down on the ceiling in the middle where it meets. So we've added these beams. I think it was the right call. Flipsters for the win. And then talk about the view coming into what is now our new kitchen. We've basically gained like 150, almost 200 square feet from the garage and the porch, the patio. I think it's awesome. And not to even mention my favorite part of this whole kitchen is this backsplash window. It lets in already so much natural light. You're gonna have your lower cabinets here, your upper cabinets here, and instead of backsplash, it's all glass. I mean, glass is classy. All right, guys, we're gonna pause the video right now because we are super excited that we have a huge announcement we have been working on for months and months now. We are launching our exclusive partnership model. We are calling it Flipster in a Box. You guys have been asking us for years to partner directly with us on these projects. So for those of you who are very super serious about getting started in your house flipping career and you want all the tools and systems that we use to flip our houses, we are now making that exclusively available to you guys nationwide. We're talking everything we use from sourcing to renovating, financing, the whole nine yards, designing these things. It's a whole system. So if you are interested in partnering with us, go ahead and click that link below for more information. We could not be more thrilled to start partnering with you guys on your flip project. We're in a whole new space. Yeah, it's people. really opened up in here. This is crazy. I think it looks awesome. Floors are in. We got electric for our island. It's looking good. Now we were a little bit disappointed. So we got our windows in the kitchen. We had grand visions to do this like super thin black bezel window. We are feeling the pinch on material supplies. There is a backlog. I'm sure you guys have seen it. It's nationwide from cars to windows. Pelotons. Pelotons. You can't get a Peloton right now. We could not get the windows that we wanted. This is what they had in stock. So it's not really our design vision. We wanted these nice big like French windows, thin black bezel. We were trying to up our game, people, and the world just intervened. So not our fault. Please don't comment your hate. You gotta make these trade-offs. Hey, do I want the project to actually be done or do I wanna wait nine months for the perfect window? Right. Time is money, I guess. Time is money, and it's all just floating out at <laughs> sea right now. What can you do? Speaking of additions, <laughs> we gained a little indoor-outdoor living. Yeah, this actually looks really nice. I think it's gonna look sharp, be a nice outdoor living space for you. Believe it or not, we are in the home stretch with this one. Still need to get those cabinets in, counters. Oh yeah, we gotta put up the wallpaper in the primary bath. We got a lot to do here, but we are wrapping it up. There's so much that we can't show. I feel like we gotta cut the video right here. Or we're gonna give it all away. We gotta save it for the big reveal. All right, so this puppy is wrapped. It's staged. It is looking beautiful. I cannot wait to show it to you. In three, two, one. What do you think? Look at it now. Look how far you've come. Remember this whole big wall that was right here blocking your entrance previously? And it was just completely walled off. Now we're open to the whole neighborhood. I love it. I think the paint really brightens it up. I don't know about the scheme. I don't know that I would do again. Would you do this scheme again? I would not use the blue that we had to trim out the window. It came out more blue than I was anticipating. I actually love the front door color. I just don't think it actually vibes with the trim color. Do I just wish we would have gone with that color for everything. I think you're totally right. But all in all, I think it's a major upgrade and some minimal landscaping. I think it looks great. Yeah, I can't wait to get inside. Let's check it out. Whoa. Oh my gosh, look at this place. 
This Dude. thing came together. I cannot believe we're standing in the same place that we were when we started. This is like completely different look and feel. Um, we are not standing in the same place when we started. Remember this was sunken down. <laughs> it feels so much better. Feels great. Remember those big heavy drapes? Now we've got light. Not just the natural light, but we put in some can lights overhead to at least brighten the space up a little, yeah? Totally. I love the way we've staged in here because it feels so spaced out. Like this is a big space. It just feels nice and open like a big family living room really should. And you feel immediately connected to all your other spaces, your dining, your kitchen, it all flows together. Now, one risk we did take in this project was this color on the fireplace. What do you think? I think it looks very cute. It goes with the overall vibe. Maybe in isolation, if you just saw this, you're like, teal fireplace? I don't think that really vibes. But when you see the other accents in the dining room, in the kitchen, this starts to make a little bit more sense. I think it's cute, dude. It makes you think about that beautiful pool that you have waiting. <laughs> Wait, we're not gonna show it to you yet. I know that's what you're here for, the pool makeover. Talking about coordinating with this fireplace is this awesome wallpaper that we got from Wall Blush. Thank you, Wall Blush. What I love about using the wallpaper like this is it really makes this feel like it's its own space. Like if you didn't have this here, it'd be easy to feel like, well, this is kind of just a walk through, a pass through. This makes it feel like this is a legit separate space, right. dining room. I love the chandelier that we picked in here. All right, we got to talk about this kitchen. I mean, I love it. This is unrecognizable. Do you remember this before? This was grandma's Grandy's kitchen. She was cooking you up some chicken fried chicken, some okra, some mac and cheese, and look at it now. I mean, now we're eating avocado toast in here. You're getting a nice green juice. Grandma's gone healthy <laughs> and she looks good. And I have got to say, I am so glad, Flipsters, that you agreed with me and went with the simple chords. I think your choice, while dramatic, would have been maybe a bit too much. I am happy to be wrong on this one. It's a rare day, mark it. But I think you're totally right. That there's so many focal points in this kitchen to focus on. If the countertops have been too overwhelming, it just would have been like, yikes. It's a nice clean surface. It really helps with the modern. I mean, check out these cabinets. I love the two tones that we went with. It's just a very sleek front, modern. You got these little black, matte black pulls. And then speaking of statement pieces, we have a lot going on. We have the window backsplash, which I think is Totally cool. Look at the little detail. We put these little succulents along that back fence. So when you're looking through, you got a nice little view after the succulents. Who All about the details, people. Who doesn't love that? And not to even mention these beautiful tiles. Lily Tile hooked us up. These are awesome. The color tone is perfect. It goes with the fireplace and the wallpaper. It just, it's all cohesive, baby. I love these handmade cement tiles, the way they have these kind of like natural undulations and imperfections in them. Like it gives them a real earthy and kind of just like homey feel to them. I would say we've got the living area down. Let's go check out the secondary bedrooms. The three bedrooms turned out awesome. We did the same accent wall color on each. A little bit of a statement piece with the fans in this one. I, you know, they're funky. I think they're kind of modern. I don't know. Do you like them? Comment below. Nice, clean, modern, fresh. Okay, let's check out the hall bathroom. Okay, so we have the Jack and Jill. We did kind of a yin and yang thing here. We went with the teal tile on the floor that transitions into the white tile in the other space. Mixing it up in the shower with oh. them both. I do like the vanities, they vibe with the kitchen. You know, got that nice white oak. It's so popular these days. Now, we were kind of constrained on like what could we could do with the layout. Unfortunately, we can't put in pocket doors or do much about this sort of long corridor of doors, but the tile kind of breaks it up, makes it a little fun. Yeah, we kept the layout the same, we just freshened it up with a new fun look. Let's go check out that primary bedroom. Whoa! Wow, look at this place. This is really cute. This turned out so great. We went with the same green accent wall in here. Kept the bed in the same place. It's been here for 40 years. Why, why mess with a good thing? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I love the staging tying the little accent pillow to our uh, accent wall, you know? All right, let's go see that primary bathroom. Speaking of accent walls, I am so pumped for this. This turned out fabulous. Again, with the wall blush wallpaper, Bold choice, running it behind the vanity, but wait. Ooh. There's, there's more. more. Ran it on the ceiling too. I think this is such a cool and fun look. It is definitely a fun detail when you get back here, kind of the final surprise in this house. I mean, it's cute. Yeah, and I'm loving just kind of a neutral tan beige octagon tiles, but they've got a little shimmer to them. Running it up the walls in the shower. You got the brass hardware. I mean, I think it works. It's a sleek, modern style bathroom, which is exactly what Grandma's house needed, baby. 
So that's a wrap on the inside, but there's still more. Mm -hmm. Got something special outside. Let's go check it out. Ooh. What do you think it is? So right off your primary suite, you have this nice new deck. We also added a twin deck over there by the kitchen. You need a little outdoor living space, which this provides, because you're going to be spending all your time out here because you've got the biggest, baddest pool in the neighborhood. <laughs> Certainly the cleanest. It is now the cleanest, the freshest, the bluest. And you can swim in total privacy because you have the world's tallest fence. This is quite a transformation. And I know, we were, you know we're just talking about going from green to blue here, but. <laughs> it matters when you're swimming. <laughs> it really makes a difference, okay? Kids, stay out of the green water. You're looking for that blue water, okay? But honestly, this was so much more work than it looks like. And money. <laughs> and money. To take this just from green to blue, we had to replaster the thing. We had to put in all new pool equipment, pressure wash it, the whole nine yards, chip this thing, new lights. And you really don't see that. All you see is this beautiful blue aqua pool. You just want to dive right in. <laughs> Okay, well this was certainly a fun project. I'm very happy with how it turned out. It certainly looks nice, but you know, it all boils down to the numbers at the end of the day. And we gotta talk about that. Let's do it. So let's talk about the final numbers on the project. We purchased the house for $450,000. Our all-in renovation and holding costs were $125,000 for an all-in cost of $575,000. We're planning to list the house for $700,000. After $28,000 of closing costs, that would leave us a gross profit of $97,000. As always, follow us on Instagram at Austin Flipsters to see when the property sells. Whoa, man, I feel like we went from like, you know, grandma's grandy hanging out in her pool, lounging in her swimwear, and now smoking it's- Smoking some cigs. Smoking the ciggies, now we're into the 21st century. What do you, how, do you, how do you feel like this has turned out? Yeah, this was definitely a glow up for sure. <laughs> we'll catch you guys on the next one. What was your uh, favorite dish at Grandy's? What was your go-to? Try to remember. I feel like biscuits and gravy? Did yeah. they have breakfast? They had breakfast, right? Yeah, I don't know. I'm picturing green beans. Did they have green it beans? It was a lot of fried okra. Oh, chicken fried chicken. Chicken fried chicken. Chicken fried chicken. chicken. Was, was, green like, beans, mashed potatoes, and a plate. Mac and cheese, and definitely, yeah, yeah, mashed potatoes with gravy on top. Delicious. And like, they had kind of like, remember the old Pizza Hut lights? Mm, that were like oh, the stained yeah. glass kind of uh -huh. lights? They're kind of like Tiffany. Yes. Stained, High yeah. class.